know. I just wanted to show off one of the wood boxes before we uh, set it up. This one's just going to sit against the other end of this wall outside there. This is my bedroom. Anyways, um, basically this is the final product. Wood duck box. Yep. Now I got a nice little door for cleaning them out and get your shavings and you put shavings in a couple inches high so they can build a nice bed in there. Put screws on both ends so it kind of has like a swing hinge. And then you put another screw on right here to hold the door shut. I messed that up and <laughs> wood duck boxes are out there for a couple of weeks and wood duck got in there and he uh, pushed a bunch of the shavings and the door came out and jarred a little bit. And every time they like went in there and kind of like scuffled around to make their nest, it just kind of pushed out and shavings just part started pouring onto the ground. And that's well, well that's how kind of how I figured out there was actually something in there using the wood duck boxes. Anyways, I'll show you something about the uh, dimensions of this guy. It's about all these are 10 inches, 10 inches wide, 10 inches wide. I cut a bunch of boards just 10 inches wide. These are all um, one by. You just want a bunch of 10 inches wide ones. <laughs> I should cut that all out. Anyways, let me start that over. So you're going to want a bunch of boards that are 1 by 10. And you're going to make them in lengths of 23 and a half. You're going to need three of those. One of them you're going to want to put a 45 degree angle on it so that you can get this hinge kind of deal so that when you open the door it doesn't kind of bind up against this. Then you're going to want to take a hole saw bit, a three inch hole saw bit, and you're going to cut it about 17 and a half inches from the bottom to center. And you want to you can basically go anywhere, but I tried to get as close to center as I could. And then you take a jigsaw and you kind of want to cut it and make it oval. So that when the bird gets up, it'll kind of like scrunch up and it kind of like tips in and gets in there like that. Yep. And then I just took a sander and I sanded it out to make it nice, look, look better. And well, that's pretty close. And then the backboard is about 31, but you can make it a little bigger if you want. It's just so that you could screw it to the bottom take screws and screw them into the back here so that it'll go into the tree or you can use it to the post to stick it to a post or whatever else you're gonna do anyways let's see what else do I want to say here's wood duck decoy yep um, yep the reason mine aren't exactly like super clean like just a 1 by 10 is because the boards I had weren't quite that wide and so I had to take an extra board stick it up against it and screw them into it and I just kind of made it a wider board see the boards I had were seven and a half so I added a little two and a quarter inch piece to it I just ran it down a table saw and well this is the final product pretty pretty happy with it well, Got all this wood from my buddy Tyler. Yep. Here's all the tools I used for building the wood duck boxes. You don't need all of these, but it definitely helps.